I just released a new version for Streamlit Lottie, a Streamlit component to render Lottie animations inside your Streamlit app and make it beautiful. Lottie generates the animation from a JSON document. What we are going to use as inputs inside our Python code is a Python representation of this JSON as a dictionary. So you can download this JSON document on the fly or you can download it locally and then load it as a file inside your Streamlit app. Go to the website, check out the animation, then find the URL to the JSON specification. In this example, we are going to download it on the fly using the requests library. The new version that I released, 003, comes with the new Streamlit Lottie Spinner, which acts as a Streamlit Spinner, but using a Lottie animation instead. You define the JSON, you create a Streamlit Lottie Spinner context manager, and then you can use it to display uh, some cool animation while your long and expensive machine learning model is being trained. Why Lottie instead of GIFs? GIFs size. Lottie files are JSON documents that are being rendered on the fly by the browser. Whereas GIFs are already fully rendered animations that are going to be way bigger than JSON strings. Quality, because you can decide on the resolution you want to render the Lottie animation. Customizable, because it's JSON, you can go inside the file and edit the colors or the position of different elements and and you can actually use a website to edit the different layers of the animations. And you can create your own animation from After Effects or from an SVG. It's got a great ecosystem. There's a marketplace where lots of creators are putting in their animations and they're being used in inside video games, websites, and now you can use them inside Streamlit. Put animations in your Streamlit app is going to grab the attention of your audience. If you want more tips to get your data science noticed, leave a like and then see you in the next video. Happy Streamliting!